only points of the game. Grimshaw drives in, layup is good. And Edwards, layup good. No good, Akpatella, rebound, that is good. And it's a one point game. Bachman with a three, and that is good. Tempo for the second half. Underneath, David's daughter, layup good. So Niagara appears to be trying to go inside their first two possessions early here. That Patetta drives in, and that's a charge. No, a block, they call a block. The replay. A producer up top. Bachman, three-pointer, up and good. Team in the lead. They need this game with Maristir Saturday. Underneath, Bachman missed it. Akpatella offensive rebound is good. One point game, a 120 left game. point game. 55-52. I Niagara's give it to no Moore and let her go to the basket. Four seconds left. The freshman, Brisker. She's going to put it up. It's blocked by Watts. Ekpatet at the foul. buzzer. Misses. Call a foul. They're going to call a foul with 0.1 seconds left. Got her. Yep. Now another timeout, I assume. No. So Ekpatet can send it to OT, and she does. And between Niagara and Sienna, Ekpatet right away. Layup is good. McIntyre, three, good. Big three-point shot by Maggie McIntyre. Definitely deep. McIntyre drives in. Layup is good. High off the backboard to get that shot over the De Sienna defender. And it's under the hands of Howard, and that'll do it. Bob, very excited as Niagara comes away with their first conference win of the year, 68-61 in overtime. And the Purple Eagles are now 1-2 in the map. 3-9 overall, Sienna falls to 0-4, 2-11 overall. So that was a We've got Coach Jada Pierce here with us. Congratulations, Coach. Thank fin you so much, Susan. I appreciate it. Fantastic. Feels good. Feels good. Fantastic overtime win here on Kids Day. Let's talk about that first. Kids Day, just an awesome environment. They're into the game from the tip to the overtime. Just talk about what this means to your team. Unbelievable. This means so much. Um, I told our players before the game, embrace the energy that these kids are going to give us because think about you at that age and you looked up to everybody who was on the court. And I think we gave it all today. These young people were amazing. They never fail us. Every year, it's, it's, it gets louder and louder, I believe. It gets louder. Yeah, we, it was so, it was so remarkable to see the Purple Eagles come back after that first quarter. You got you dug yourself in a little bit of a hole. Seemed that Sienna's full court press kind of got you. How did you get the team to settle down and kind of get back into this basketball game? You know game? what? I, I didn't have any magic words for them. I just told them that we needed to really focus in and dial in and, and stick to the game plan. We knew the press was coming. It's what they do. We practiced it for three days. So I was glad that we woke up. I think we were kind of sleepwalking a little bit, maybe because of the early tip. Um, but I'm really proud of the fight we showed to come back from 15 down. Okay, talk to us a little bit about uh, player of the game, probably Emerald Ekpatetta. Definitely had a, Emerald. Had a, uh, had a double double, 22 points, 15 rebounds. Talk about her contributions today. Emerald was amazing today. You know, we challenged her after the last two conference games to really step up, and I think she responded so well today. 10 for 10 from the free throw line. More importantly, those two to send us into overtime. And, you know, Coach called, Coach Jax called a timeout to kind of ice her a little bit, and we just kept saying, swish, swish. We did extra free throws this week and I said this is why we did the extra free throws and she really came through in the clutch. First, uh, early in the conference season so far, first victory of the year for the Purple Eagles. Talk about your upcoming conference opponents. Um, you know, we've got a really tough schedule, I think, ahead of us. Uh, Marist, who's preseason number one, uh, one of my mentors, uh, Coach Georges, and he does such a great job. I think they, they've got a lot returning, so that's going to be a tough game for us on Saturday. I'm not sure how they did today against Canisius, but Marist is always a tough opponent for us. And then we head on the road, we go to Iona and Monmouth, two teams that, you know, I think are on the verge of something, too. And and it's going to be a challenge. Uh, we were able to win down at Iona last year for the first time in a number of years, and we're still searching for one at Monmouth, and haven't done that since I've been here. So it's going to be a real tough trip for us next week, and, and I think that we're going to be ready for it. This was the battle test that we needed to pass. We always talk about passing a test. We passed a test today, and I'm really proud of these kids. 
Uh, talk about maybe the momentum moving forward. First conference victory of the year. You know, now you're, you know, all the non-conference games are, are kind of behind you. There's an opportunity to, to kind of learn what this team is about, what improvements you had to make, and, and kind of moving forward with that momentum. I think, you know, today we really showed a lot about putting it putting it together. Um, we were very close in those other games. Um, I felt non-conference really helped us a lot because a lot of the teams we saw had star players. They had a star player that we really had to focus on and then not let role players kind of take over. And, you know, we learned a lot. We got, we got burned a little bit. And so today I think Sabrina Piper is one of the top five players in the league, and I think we did a good job of throwing some different people at her. So you have those types of tests. Stella Johnson. We did a great job in the first half with her, you know, the reigning player of the year. Second half didn't fare as well. So I think each each test, we've, we've kind of gotten close, but today was the one we needed and as a confidence booster as well. Okay. Thank you, Coach Pierce, for being with us. Uh, Thank this, you, Susan. This afternoon is definitely different playing a, a 11 a.m. Uh, game, uh, you know, on, on a weekday. But again, great initiative by the MAC Conference to have Kids Day, get a full house, get a great energy. Um, we're looking at some of the final, final highlights here for Niagara. Um, some transition for Sienna. We talked a lot during the game how important transition baskets were for, for both teams going uh, back and forth today. Absolutely. Thanks again to all these people that are out here today, these, team, these schools from Niagara Falls or Newport. Just an amazing job. We really fed off the energy today. I don't know if we went without the six man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think you can really see that difference. It really took uh, Sienna kind of, I thought, out of their flow, especially from the foul line today where they shot only nine for, for uh, 18, uh, so 50% from the line today for them, which is definitely below uh, their season averages. For sure, these kids were loud in here. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Coach Pierce, for joining us. Thank you so much, Susan. Again, 68-61 Niagara in overtime.